Pigeon English follows five months in the young life of Harry Apoku. He's recently moved from Ghana to live on a housing estate in London. Um, and we follow him as he learns the rules of his new home and makes friends, makes enemies. It's uh, a coming of age tale. It's a fish out of water story. But also there's a detective element too because uh, one of his friends has been knifed to death and uh, the police are having difficulty finding the killer. So Harrison being the exuberant and positive young man that he is, decides he's going to try and track down the killer. Pigeon English attracted some attention. I think there were 12 publishers involved in the bidding at, at one point. And uh, for me, being uh, someone who's dreamed of being a writer since a very early age, to, to have that kind of attention was uh, obviously very flattering, very exciting. Uh, it was all a bit of a whirlwind. Um, in the end, uh, Bloomsbury won out and I'm very happy to be with them. They treated me very well. I submitted uh, Pigeon English just to uh, the slush pile of, of various agencies. Uh, a few of them rejected it and then fourth time around, I think, uh, it uh, ended up on the, the desk of my lovely agent, Joe Unwin, who uh, saw the potential in it and the rest is history. Actually, I'm reading a book called Fold by a fellow Boonesbury author called Tom Campbell. Uh, he's something of a friend of mine and a good guy. I've just started literally the first chapter of that, so it's very new. I can't really comment on it quite yet. I would have loved to have seen Kristen Hirsch, uh, her performance tonight, being a big Throwing Muses fan. Um, and obviously she has an interesting life story to tell. Um, I would have loved to have got to see that, but obviously haven't had the chance, unfortunately. It's been quite a journey from the aspiring novelist with no real expectation of uh, whether anybody would be interested in the book at all, let alone to, to become published by Bloomsbury. To go from that to being on the long list for the Man Booker Prize is quite a leap of the imagination for me and I'm still trying to come to terms with that but very delighted and very excited about it.